so the next thing we'll be talking about is whether or not mere words can amount to assault okay now two we are going to be comparing two cases we are going to be looking at the case of mid v belt which says no mere words cannot amount to assault as against the case of rv wilson in mid v belt what happened was that um the defendants went onto the plaintiff's la land at night okay singing war songs threatening songs you know so when they, they they like they went there at night and that was their demeanor that was their action so when the plaintiff came out um he shot at he shot into them and injured some of them so one of the issues that had come up for consideration for determination was whether um um the defend the plaintiff's act was assaulting sorry the defendant's act was assaultive in nature and the court held that it was not what they said it was not the fact that they were singing war songs that that um, um that constituted the assault so it wasn't it, it wasn't what they said that constituted the assault it was the fact that they were present in the um, plaintiff's house at night okay so their mere presence tells you they are willing to carry out whatever it is that they are saying and that is what made it assaulting so it was not for the case of mid v belt it was not it, it is not just about what you say but your ability to carry it out into execution whatever it is that you are saying are you exhibiting a certain ability to carry it out that is what they are looking at however in rv wilson okay this um let's say a person who guards um a forest reserve find some a, a poacher into the land in the um, in the forest trying to poach some game now this um, um poacher having seen the security guard shouted get out knives which simply connotes or which connotes some kind of um, um some kind of attack on the um, on, on the guard so the issue had been that the get out knives did it did it in itself amount to um, um, um assault or there had to be some kind of backup action to show that the um, um the poacher was was going to carry out that get out knife into execution it was held that just by seeing get out knives it signifies some form of intention to hurt the the, um, the guard and so you show that the guard has every reason to be afraid okay so rv wilson kind of wants to suggest that insofar as the words that you utter makes the person afraid it is the fear that we are looking at for rv wilson okay so insofar as the word that the words that you look at sorry the words that you spit out or the words that you say are capable of making the person afraid then you are guilty of assault however however um saying what you say can actually negate an action that could have ended up being assaultive okay so if you make an action that would ordinarily make someone afraid and then you say something to negate that action then the the the, the action for assault can, may not be successful against you and the, a case in point is tuberville versus savage now in this case the defendant said insulting words to the plaintiff okay so the plaintiff put his hand on his he had a sword by his side and you know we, how they keep the sword by their side so he placed his hand on the sword right and ordinarily having placed his hand on the sword should have signified that he intended to remove it and then attack the um the defendant but he placed his hand on it and said if it were not a easy time i wouldn't have taken such insulting words from you okay now what he simply meant was that at that time the judges had been in town okay the in the in english olden day english that was how the judges seemed to used to go on some form of a rotation okay so at that time they were in town and so he said that if it were not a easy time if it was not for the fact that the judges were in time were in town i wouldn't have taken such insulting words from you and his hand was on his sword so he meant to say that if it was not a easy time he would have probably taken out the sword and done something to him so the pl the defendant having claimed to have been angered um attacked the plaintiff busting his eye and what he claimed what he wanted to rely on as a defendant was that he said he had been he had been um, annoyed or he had been instigated to you know attack the plaintiff because of what he, because the plaintiff made him fear that he was going to cut him with the sword but then as i've said the court held that 
The fact that he had his hand on his sword and said, if it were not a season time, I wouldn't have taken such insulting words from me, signifies that he did not have the intention to, you know, attack the plaintiff. So they were not, there was, sorry, attack the defendant. So there was no justification for the defendant coming to say that he has been um, angered as a result of, as a result of fear or he was afraid and that was why he acted the way he did. So saying positive words can actually negate an action that um, had, I am, um, that would ordinarily have amounted to assault okay so this is where we end our video assault is incomplete battery words can amount to assault only if they put the the the, the person or the person they are directed at in 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 in, um, um, in fear of imminent battery and words can actually negate an action that would have ordinarily been said to have constituted an assault thank you very much for staying with me as usual share like comment and if you have not subscribed subscribe bye